Hi, I'm Sandra and this is Elsie. Hi. Uh, we're here to let you know how you can get involved with Darnhill Arts Week. And what's happening is on the week of half term, um, there will be lots of exciting things happening all around Darnhill and it's already begun. Um, the group that I'm working with are working on the wonder of imagination. The theme is the seven wonders of Darnhill. So we're looking at the wonder of imagination and we will be making a sculpture in the library. I'll be putting that up on Saturday, the th no, not Saturday, Wednesday, the 3rd of June. And it will be a leafy, gardeny sculpture. And then people will be making bugs, butterflies, beetles, things that fly. Their imagination is taking flight. So they'll be making these kinds of flyy things that will be suspended in the sculpture. And you'll be able to see that if you're around that week, come and say hi. If you're around on the Wednesday, come and give us a wave. That'll be going in there. Um, so you can get involved in this. Um, what we'd like is for some people to make little mini sculptures, mini displays in their windows at home. Um, so these were done. These were printed out. Let me show you a plain one. Have I got a plain one, Elsie? Um, Let's see. There's a plain one. These were printed out. And I've printed them double sided. If you want to use my images, so my bug, my beetle, bleh, beetle, butterfly, bee, um, these are all available for you to download and print out yourself if you want and the details will be underneath the video. At the end you can have a look for those. Uh, so if you have access at home to any tissue paper or felt pens then you can do this sort of thing. And there are some other videos that you can have a look at and I'll talk you through how to do that in detail. So you can see how to do that if you want. If you've got those materials, that's brilliant. If not, you can use whatever you've got to learn about the house. Elsie, you've done some nice examples um, for us, haven't you? Yes. So what's so that one? I've just used normal pen colouring pencils and I've just coloured it in. But beautifully. <laughs> Thank you. It's really nice. And if you have time, you'll do both sides yeah. of that, won't you? So that if you hang it in your window, you could do it on a bit of fishing line so it can spin and dangle or, or you could just put a little bit of sellotape on and have it so it just faces out or just faces in, whichever way. It's nice to have both, I think, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what else have you done? So I've also done one with newspapers. Really like that one. So how did you do that? I've just torn up pieces of the newspaper and I've just put it on the wings with a glue stick. Lovely. And you've done it so you've still got the symmetry of the butterfly, yes. haven't you? You've done the same on both sides. Lovely. Yeah. You got any others? Um, I've got a pen one, which I've just used coloured pens in. Gorgeous. You got a bit rainbow with that one? Yeah. One more? And um, one that I've not finished yet, but just black and white. Lovely. And you've done kind of like zentangly patterns on yeah. that one, haven't you? Again, just using your imagination. There's no right or wrong, is there? Yeah. You're just enjoying that one. Brilliant. And then we were talking, Elsie, about if you didn't have any of this kind of arty stuff, um, what could you use? Like, I think you could use um, recycled things that you've got in your house, like maybe plastic bags that are a bit ripped and you're not going to use for anything else. You could chop those up yeah. and turn them into bugs, couldn't you, and butterflies. And you had a nice idea for... Like leftover fabric or Yeah, something. bits of yeah. textiles and you could like maybe weave some wire into it and make it 3D. Um, you don't have to use these printed ones if you've got an idea for something that's that's bigger and better and more exciting go for it and um, we'd love to see those in your windows and um, i'm sure all your neighbors would too and um, when you've done that when you've got a gorgeous display up what would be brilliant is if you could take a photograph of it and put it on the facebook page the cartwheel arts facebook page so everybody can see that you're taking part and you're enjoying it um, even better than that, um, a lovely treat for you. We've got a professional photographer coming. So if your family or someone in your family is up for being in a photograph and showing off your work and having a really lovely professional photograph taken, um, then we would love you to get in touch. Again, the details will be under the video um, and you can sign up for that. Anything that I've forgotten? I'm gonna check my list. There probably is something I've forgotten. No. I think that's it. All right, well, hope you can take part and can't wait to see what everybody makes. It's gonna be really lovely to see how it all comes together. Thanks very much.